Hello everyone and welcome back to Rayman Legends. I'm Sheep Sheep and Dana. Today we are going to be learning how to shoot your dragon. Oh yes. And as you can tell this time we're taking the reins of Barbara. The new character in this game who reminds me a lot of like a female Kratos kind of except skinny and she runs like Sonic. So let's get moving shall we? Now, I believe this one's also a yet another running uh, auto scroll level. God damn it. But, if I remember, it's a pretty fun one because it ends with you doing something interesting. That's, well, obviously, you're shooting a dragon. <laughs> it says it in the title, god damn it. So there we go. Rain Rayman, how to get on? Oh, Jesus Christ, it does split. <laughs> Check out my moves. Check out my moves. I am a supreme dancer from the 90s, yo. Okay, let's just uh, summon Murphy and rescue up Hal Rayman because he looks like he's in a bit in a spot of bother there. There we go. You're free, my friend. All right, so basically move the platforms left now. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh. Get Rayman to jump onto this thing and drag it across so he can bounce off the platform but and then kill himself ultimately because he's Rayman. He's too good for life. Alright, there you go. Now don't move too much with this platform because otherwise Rayman will probably hurt himself. Probably meaning he will hurt himself, so... You really just need to be careful and be a bit more precise with this one. Because otherwise, good luck folks! <laughs> yuck, folks. Like, yuck. Oh, sure thing, Goofy. Oh, anyway, <laughs> time to uh, just run across here. I don't remember this mission being too long, so um, it should be pretty. It should be a pretty simple one. Now, obviously, fire hurts you, so don't go into it. Um, I don't know. I don't think I really needed to explain that. I think anybody with a I think anybody could mention that. But anyway, go up here to the coal beds and there's a secret passage with another twirly twirly puzzle. Now this one is locked to full 360 degree motion. So you have to turn your controller upside down. Oh, it's not. When you turn your... Never mind then. I lie. I don't know what the bloody hell I'm talking about. Alright, go down Rayman. Alright, be careful not to tilt the controller too much by here because otherwise Rayman will ultimately die. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. Oh, me wee little heart, he was thinking in his head as he fell down those pit of spikes. More than likely, I'd be like that. I mean, Jesus Christ, what is God doing? He's ruining thing things. He's scaring the living hell out of me. Alright, now with this one, you're going to want to move the platform up as you do the wall jump to get hold of this here Tinsy. Easy, easy, easy problem. And then you just leave Rayman doing his thing then to get back down. Simples. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle! Yeah, tickle, tickle! Ah, you love it. What did I... Wait, why did I... I pushed the button I I realised he does it automatically. Oh, game. Why have you forsaken the... I thought somehow he can reach over there. I don't know how. I'm not complaining either because it's just... It makes things easier if he can actually do that, so... Alright. Run from the volcanic spires of terror. Now he will wait for you to actually do pull the platform, so don't you don't have to rush too much. But trust me, rush a little bit. Come on, guys. Because otherwise... Well, you're going to have fire burning you you in the backside. In this face, that's not a good um, situation to be in, is it? Actually, when I was doing my original, uh, my first play run through of this game, this is actually where I first died, folks. So um, you may want to be careful. It's deceptive in how easy it is, but it's also relatively difficult to. It's easy to die, but it's not that difficult in our words. So that's the word. That's the term of terminology I'm looking for. All right, now you're gonna want to not do that. If you um, can get in a wall jump perfectly, which let's face it, when I'm recording like this, it's near impossible because yeah, I need two hands for this one. Actually, I don't. But no, I wasn't holding that one. You know what? Fine. 
Fine. I won't get the the tinsy. Screw you, game. I'll do I'll do it my own way. I'll get the tin. I'll get the tin the tin teensy another time. Like when I'm not recording, because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to be subjected to this thing. At least we got some mighty mighty awesome orchestral pieces going here. And thank God I actually failed in cutting that rope because otherwise I would have. Well, our friend Rayman would have died. Why would you jump into fire like that, Rayman? Okay, I'm panicking a bit here, folks, because, like I said, recording with a gamepad. Difficult. There we go. There we go. We've made it. We have now made it to the end of this. So now it's time to... Hey, I see you, bro, oiling up your machine. What you doing there, buddy? Uh... Well, that doesn't sound good. Uh, what did you do? Okay, now for this one, folks, we're gonna want to use Murphy, as you can see, and shoot the dragons. It's it's partially auto aim, so it's actually surprisingly. E it, it won't be that difficult to do. Trust me, you can just really just spam fire like this, and you'll you'll eventually hit something. So um, don't worry too much, folks. Just keep trying, and well. That was it. That's all. That was all to the mission. You really. I don't think it's even possible to die there. But with that, folks, it's time to move on to the boss and then celebrate with the end of world level, which I'm not. I haven't even mentioned to you guys yet. But I'm gonna leave it for a surprise, which it's a surprise that you're not gonna want to hear me talk over. So I want to actually commentate over those special end of world levels because. Well, if anyone knows the previews, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, you will. Anyway, yeah, I've received message. Time to tackle the first real boss, boss, boss of the game. Breathing fire, also known as generic dragon that we gotta throw stuff at. Trust me, this boss fight isn't. This boss fight actually gave me was a surprising challenge when I first played the game. I'm not gonna lie. But, um, the hard part about this really now is, um, well, as you can tell, that, that wizard just gave us the ability to shoot. So, uh, yeah, you make advantage of that. But the hard part really is just trying to get the teensies because they appear periodically throughout the entire battle. Oh, what's up, bro? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 All right, bring it on, bruv. First boss of the game, Rayman Legends, is now underway, folks. Alright, so his first phase, he's going to start throwing fireballs from the sky. You just have to really move left and right to do it. Don't hold ZR because it'll be extremely easy to sort of run off the edge. Now, when he's at this phase, you could either just wait for him to get tired out from shooting fireballs at you, or you could directly hit him. I'd say wait for him, but it's really up to you. Alright, I saw that. Actually, no, when you... Don't worry about it, actually, when he's by there, you just wail on him. I believe you get uh, heart refills throughout the entire fight, so don't worry too much if you get hit. So you will get a refill, I'm sure. Anyway, there's phase one complete. Onwards go we go, and there's the next team. See if we can get hold of him. Yeah, just about. Thank God for that. Whoa! Yeah, I was right, there's a heart refill. Alright, so basically, now this is the second phase. He's essentially going to do the same thing again. He's really first boss fight he's not going to be so difficult difference is his pattern's going to be different now he's going to suck getting tired out i got it wrong the first time now when he does get tired out you'll have to um well bounce up here and eh, miss completely thank you game it's actually easier when he's aiming from this side because he's actually a bit lower down when he's aiming from the left hand side as opposed to the right so when he goes to this side, now is the best chance to strike. Yeah, there we go. He's out of town. But he's not down for the count yet, because he has one more phase. Alright, break the platform, and it's time to finish this, Drago. Drago Malfoy. Oh, son of a bitch, I just killed myself. Alright. Action. Alright, um... If you, when you see these parachuting guys, uh, 
that teensy I still don't know how to get. But when you see the parachuting guys, oh Christ, land on the parachutes and uh, they won't give away, don't worry. They're basically a slowly falling platform to, well, platform. Oh, figured out to get a teensy, folks. It's a very tight, bloody jump, though. Okay. I'm gonna get this teensy, actually. I'm, I am convinced to get this teensy. Alley-oop. Yeah. There we go. What the... No! My platform! Yeah. <sighs> Fine, I'll get the Tinsy off screen. I want to get this done because we reached the 10 minutes now. I want to get the video complete by 15. So let's get going. Ugh. All right, this is the final phase now. As you can tell, the platform's going to tilt and you're going to have enemies pop in all the time. The enemies are really nothing to worry about. Just um, watch out because this time he shoots fire flow. He shoots a fire flower. He shoots flame. He shoots. He shoots fires out of his mouth. Yes, fires. And uh, basically, depending on where he's on the screen, go to the top or bottom of the platform. And once he's, um, well, once you can, wail on him. That's probably not the best part to do it. I think this is the chance. There we go. There we go. He is dead. So there goes the first boss of the game, folks. Fantastic. You. Ha! Got yourself stuck. Not getting away from me this time, good sir. Now, as you can tell, this... Believe it or not, this this exact scenario happens every time. Don't ask how they all get in the same scenario. But let's just, uh... Let's finish this off, shall we? Kablamo! <laughs> Right up the pig's asshole. <laughs> and that's a tune that will grow as we beat each of the worlds, folks. But with that done. It's time to hit get our reward. And we didn't quite get the gold in that one. Oh well. No worries. Now folks, I'm going to end the commentary here because this section I just want you guys to hear. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like or comment to the video. And I'll catch you all next time. Where we'll tackle the second world. So, I hope you guys now enjoy Castle Rock. See you guys next time. Bye!